Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong multi-factor authentication to your Entra ID logins without any additional software deployments. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to the Login TC admin panel online to get started. Click Domains and then click Create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click Create to complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for Login TC authentication. Now create a user and assign a multi-factor authentication token. Go to the administration panel and from the domains tab, click the domain you just created. Scroll down to the member section and click create member. The username must match the username in your Entra tenant or SAM account name. Then enter their full name and finally their email address. For domain membership, make sure the domain you've just created is selected. Click Create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with Login TC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the new token on your test device. Launch the Login TC app, click Add Token, and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your Login TC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with Login TC. Refresh the page to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. Now create a Microsoft Entra ID External Authentication Method or EAM Login TC application. Click Applications. In the filter box, type Entra. Click Microsoft Entra ID EAM. The application is created. Now you will give permission to this Login TC application to act as an external authentication method provider for your Entra ID tenant. Scroll down to the Microsoft Entra ID EAM integration section. Click Connect. This will redirect you to Microsoft Entra. Sign in to your Microsoft Entra tenant with your Entra ID administrator account. Review the required permissions and select Consent on behalf of your organization. Click Accept. Your Login TC application is now connected and can be used as an external authentication method with Entra. Now you will use the Microsoft Entra ID EAM integration details displayed on the connected Login TC application to create an Entra ID external authentication method. Go to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center by opening a new tab and typing entra.microsoft.com. On the left-hand menu, under Identity, click Protection to expand the options. Then click on Authentication Methods. At the top, click Add External Method. In the Name field, type Login TC. For the client ID, Click on the tab with the Login TC Microsoft Entra ID EAM application. Scroll down to the Microsoft Entra ID EAM integration section. Next to the client ID, click Copy. Go back to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center and paste the copied client ID in the client ID field. For the discovery endpoint, click on the Login TC tab once again. And next to the discovery endpoint field, click Copy. Go back to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center 
and paste the copy directory endpoint in the directory endpoint field. And finally, for the app ID, once again, click on the login to see tab. Click copy next to the app ID field. Go back to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center and paste the copied app ID in the app ID field. Under enable and target, toggle enable to on. Click save. You now have created an external authentication method using login TC, which you can now use with conditional access policies. Now you will create a new conditional access policy in your Entra ID tenant to require login TC MFA for access. On the left-hand menu under protection, click conditional access. At the top, click new policy. Select the name for the policy. In this case, we will target a specific user and we'll call the policy John Doe MFA. Under users, click the zero users and group selected link. Here, select what users or groups you wish to apply the conditional access policy for. In this case, we will select users and groups, then check users and groups, and finally select the John Doe user and click select. Under Access Controls, Grant, click the Zero Controls Selected link. Under Grant Access, click Require Multi-Factor Authentication and click Select. Click Create. You have now created a conditional access policy that will require a user or group to use multi-factor authentication. Now try logging in using Entra ID with the user that would be impacted by the conditional access policy. For example, in a new tab, go to office.com. Log in with your user. In this case, we will use the John Doe user. Enter the password and click Next. Now the user is presented with various multi-factor authentication options to complete the login. Since login TC has been added as an authentication method, Login TC appears in the list. Click Approve with Login TC. The user will be redirected to Login TC and shown various options to log in. All authentication methods are supported. In this case, John Doe will log in using a push notification by clicking Send me a request, then approving the request on their phone. Once completed, the user will be redirected back to the Entra ID protected service they were trying to access. In our case, office.com. Your Entra ID service is now protected with login TC.